Kaiju number eight has given us all a wonderful Christmas present, which is chapter 53. And with this chapter, we get Kikaru crying. We get the team of Okafka and Nairumi. And we see Kaiju number nine being a savage because of of the fact that it is that he is powerful and throughout this whole chapter this chapter was 100 percent great because the villain has won this arc and going into this latest arc we're going to see what he says towards the end the era of kaijus so a lot of things are heating up in this whole series of kaiju number eight and we're all here for it so with this latest chapter we start off while we see that kikaru she's on the floor crying because she knows that her dad is gone she knows that the dad is not coming back because kaiju number nine fused his body with her own father and at this current moment he's done he is not able enough to come back to this earth he's not able to you know separate himself he is just fused and he is dead and gone and you gotta feel bad for kikaru because kikaru not only did she lost her mom but she also lost her dad and this is just devastating for her because at this current moment she can't even fight she just feels helpless because the whole feel of just seeing that her dad just died in her own hands by the kaiju that he was trying to kill. The kaiju that he was trying to protect Kikaru from is just over here, just standing still alive. And he is just battling against Kafka and Nairumi, which we see the team up of both of them. And they're both trying their hardest to try to take kaiju number nine down but kaiju number nine he is so powerful he is just stopping and blocking every single attack that he kept throwing at them and this was a very very hard battle because kaiju number nine is so powerful because not only that he has the captain power but he also has kaiju number two power as well and we see that kafka and Narumi they're getting beat up because just how powerful kaiju number nine is so as the battle continues you kaiju number eight is not giving up this fight he is going all out he is just powering up he is making sure that he is not losing and this is just going all intense at this current moment because kaiju number nine kafka he is just going all out as fast as he can and as the battle continues between kafka and kaiju number nine we see that kaiju number nine he decided that you know what i'm done with this fight you know i'm gonna go home you guys are boring me i'm trying to get used to these mechanics this new body this new transformation and you guys are just really boring me at this current moment so i'm just done but between the middle of saying that he realized that kaiju number nine was successfully was able to amputate one of his arms because one of his arms was dangling off of his body and as he noticed that we see that nairumi and kafka they just have a resurgence of energy because now they see that there is their great opening to go ahead and try to defeat kaiju number nine so while in the midst of seeing that we see nairumi he is going straight ahead through kaiju number nine and going into multiple attacks trying to make sure that he doesn't run away and he goes into a blow that was able to open up and take piece off of his shoulder and pieces of his abdomen and his chest of kaiju number nine and during the midst of the battle Kai Kafka came through and he punched Kaiju number nine in the stomach and he realized that most of the effects of the damage is coming from Kaiju number eight. So he's just looking, he's just like, I need to leave because Kafka, Kaiju number eight is giving me problems. And at this current moment, Kafka, he's not letting this guy go. He says, I'm not going to let you get away. And then towards the midst of the battle, he is just seeing Kikaru and Kikaru's crying and he's just like I promise you Kikaru I'm going to get the revenge I'm going to get this guy and I'm not going to make him leave he was just like I swear on this he was just like he hurt you too much and you went through too much for this and the fact that he killed your dad and he take over his body he was like no I'm not letting it go and you see tears coming out of Kafka because not only that he killed Kikaru's dad but Kikaru's crying. 
Kikaru is literally crying. Kikaru is literally helpless. And that Kappa, as the great man that he is, he's not going to let his friends down. So while in the midst of the battle, Kafka is just continuously going after Kaiju number nine. And Kaiju number nine, his body is just falling apart just based on the fact that Kafka is on his level. Kafka is about to try to finish him off. But Kaiju number nine is just like, you, number eight and then he start to regenerate and while in the midst of regenerating we see that narumi and kappa they're going to try to do this final blow they're trying to do this final push so they can try to end it but kaiju number nine he activated one of his new powers that he has seen when the powers of kaiju number two and it became this total shock wave of electricity and was able to push back Kafka and Narumi far away and during the midst of the battle he was able to amputate half of his body so that way he can fly away and while he's trying to fly away he is just seeing that Kafka and Narumi they were able to block the whole effect of his electric sound wave attack I don't know what it was but he was able to block it and while he saw them blocking it he's in total shock because the fact that he thought that that technique and that attack is actually was going to finish them off but they have so much rage so much power because this was just like you killed our captain we're after your ass and then so at this current moment kaiju number nine it says that i should have been done with you from the start and he's looking at kafka and then so what he was going to do was that he ended up splitting his head into two to make two heads and he started to do this beam where he can make sure that kaiju number eight and narumi won't go ahead and try to tackle him while he leaves and this attack actually worked because while he did those attacks they were able and enough to be focused to try to go ahead and block the attacks and while he's throwing those attacks he's looking at kaiju number eight and he says goodbye kaiju number eight the next time i will make a move and while he's saying that he's forming himself as to Kikaru's dad while he's getting away and we see that Narumi and Kafka was able to stop the two blasts because the two blasts was going straight to Kikaru and the scientist that was helping Kikaru's dad and he was saying that I will make the start of Kaiju era and as he's flying away and they're just looking up as Kaiju number nine is actually gone. This chapter was insane. This chapter was really great because now that Kaiju number nine, he is powerful and he's very sadistic because this man is willing enough to do anything that he wants. He will scoot so low to make sure that his goals is complete. And I'm excited to see what he says, the era of Kaiju. So there's going to be a lot of interesting factors that's going to happen. In this series, we see a major death. We see that Kaiju number nine got very, very powerful. So he looks like he's going to be a very tough opponent for Kafka to actually finish him off once and for all. But we were able to see that Kafka, he's able to hold his own, but also to Narumi as well. So we see that what Kikaru's dad was saying back in a couple of chapters ago that these two needs to work together because they're very powerful to take out threats like kaiju number nine and we were able to see that throughout this chapter so this chapter was really great especially since we're going near the holidays so this was a very very great chapter other than that let me know down in the comment section how you guys feel about this chapter what was your favorite moments what you guys think was going to happen what you guys predict is the kaiju error is going to happen but let me know down in the comment section and hope you guys have a wonderful day be safe on these crazy holidays have a happy new year and yeah all right